Wow. Wow. Wow, this is this is some really deep stuff. I don't know what just happened, but something happened inside of me. Something snapped, something shook. I wasn't expecting that either. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. It's okay, it's all right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Monster is like really small, but it had to become that to stop me. And then the hurt child became present when you mentioned it. And I didn't realize this until now. There were things that I didn't remember yeah. until now. It's funny, I haven't seen that before. It, it feels like I'm the monster. I'm kind of seeing images of things. Of a, of a world where they can exist. This clarity brings all kinds of answers. It's clear. She like hugged me and then went back to her place, I guess, in my heart. Oh, it wants to come out. <laughs> it wants the bippity boppity boop Cinderella me. Like, <laughs> she's like melted into like my chest. It's like ooey gooey. All week, been finishing things, cleaning up more, started eating vegetables again last week. <laughs> and it kind of just started happening. It's almost like I just finished going through a meditation session. I feel like, like, you know, when you. When you hit that first joint, like in the morning, and you... I actually feel a lot more um, awake. Yeah, I don't know where I left off. I got in a job. Um, uh, what else happened? Yeah, someone in my family died. Maybe mm -hmm. we've left off there. I don't know. And then now... I seem to have some sort of um, chronic stomach pain thing. So mm. it's not, I'm not used to having um, discomfort like this. Interesting. Uh, so that's been the past two weeks. It mm. feels like it's getting better, but it's never fully perfect. So I lack sleep and whatnot, mm. but somehow I still function. Um, so you hear that? No, thanks. Well, yeah, it's interesting because it's like, I am I feel like I've grown around a lot of family members who were a lot older and, you know, have these, these, uh, yeah, health issues and, now it's like, oh, I'm experiencing sort of my own that hopefully will subside. But at the same time, it's like, oh, oh like how how much of this, uh, uh, um, how how much effort am I actually going to put into solving this problem? Considering no one wants to help me uh, firmly. Um, yeah. So. I don't know. At least I don't have to take out my gallbladder. So I'm happy about yeah. that. Um, yeah. That's one thing hopefully eliminated the idea so, of that surgery. So, but otherwise, you don't have a, a diagnosis that you are confident about? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't. I mean, the doctors do, and or a, a doctor did, and then, uh, my experience right now is like, oh, I would like to see another specialist, but uh -huh. um, I guess my symptoms don't warrant it enough. So, uh -huh. uh, yeah, and then it's like, okay, but I have work, like work to do. So, so I'm trying to balance like this discomfort and doing work and just life, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's a tough place to be when you're, when you're, it's not an emergency, but it's, but it sucks. And you don't know, like, I mean, yeah. When, when does it warrant going to a doctor, you know? Yeah. I'm so curious if like, 
I don't know what IFS is like with when it comes to physical pain or accessing parts of the frustration. I'd be curious to explore that. Um, I've only had positive experiences with trying to do IFS around physical ailments and including my own like chronic pain that I've had. It's been helpful. That's awesome. Yeah. I, yeah, I, in general, I haven't really done any work with my parts lately. So I'm curious how this will go. Um, okay. Yeah, we can go wherever you want. Um, is it okay if we get started and if we start with a minute of meditation first? Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, great. Okay, so we can get into it however you want to get into it. If that's just talking about, you know, what's going on and, and how you're feeling around it, or if you feel like you have already kind of parted it up and you have a part you'd like to explore either way. Mm. Well, I think there's so many different parts to it because there's almost an expectation of the pain that will come mm -hmm. the physical pain, the emotional pain. Um, it's an anticipation. Like, I feel like I'm cognizant of what makes it, um, arise. Um, so I'm like very wary and there's a part of this wariness. Mm -hmm. And then there's like the actual pain. And then that's another phase. It's almost like I'm this part of me is trying to endure something. And then, yeah, there's that. And then there's some moment of silence slash relief and I feel like it's so bodily all everything this sensation that the part that's talking the most to me actually is the pain because I can feel a subdued form of it right now mm -hmm. so I'm processing it um and physically like that that's in my stomach um mm -hmm. and it's almost like a stomach cramp of some sort um okay and if, if that's the part that's talking to you the most would it make sense to give it a shot to to you know, explore that as as if it's a part and see if it has anything to to share. Yeah, I think it's it's literally burning to talk. So mm -hmm. Okay. So it's pain in the stomach. Yep. Um and, and I like almost think the age would be five and four because that's a, a time when I had issues down like in that my digestion. So it's not necessarily new. It's just this, this, this feeling uh, like it, it, I would want to say this pains like a four year old or as old as, or started when I was four. So much. <laughs> maybe older yeah. than four then i'm curious how you're how you're detecting that like what gave you that are you saying that this started when i was four and so i'm just remembering it or uh, do you have some other clues or message that 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 there is a, a part that is a that is a four-year-old i think like it's probably a bit of both mm -hmm. you know i i also <laughs> 
I also don't necessarily have my wisdom teeth out and every now and then that pains. And when I have that kind of pain, again, it sort of really just makes me think of like that pain is just a child itself because that's when I like experienced it or formed it. So I always feel like my pain is like youthful. Um, And just for context, you remember the last time we talked, which was, um, let's see, it was about a month ago, but there was a a five-year-old involved there. And I just wanted Uh, to point, I just wanted to point that out um, and see if that were any connections to the parts work that you have done and what you're sensing now. Right. Right. Hmm. It's just something to keep an eye out for. And I think in that session, I felt like there was a child in a row of chairs. That's right. So now I'm already feeling that um, or sensing Mm -hmm. that part. Um, Same part, different part, any overlap? I would say overlap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's overlap and and I, I don't think, I think they are separate though. Like I don't really see these two talking it's almost like a now i i i'd say like i'm a, i'm i'm a like it's a daycare and they're just doing their thing yeah so back to the pain in the stomach how do you feel towards it right now as you notice it well i i'm just going to talk my process but mm-hmm. Just thinking of the part as like being a five-year-old makes it easier to feel more compassion to it. And so I don't, I feel like there, that, that already is giving it, giving, giving me the feeling that I can, I can be in the presence of this part and it's chaperone. Yeah. Great. And yeah, no, actually, I, yeah, now it's, I feel like, yeah, um, interesting. Yeah, I already feel like the physical pain feels different. <laughs> yeah. So see if you can let it know that, let it know your intentions. Let it know your compassion and that you're and that you want to to work with it, you want to understand it to continue helping it relax or or whatever it needs from you. Just whatever way you can to extend that message to it. does feel like um, it's more shapely. It's not like the form of the pain itself is not now wrapped around my stomach, but more maybe like 
contained in a way. And is it, does it feel like it's available to, to talk with you or can you go, go ahead and invite it to talk with you, invite it to let you know anything it wants you to know about itself? Yeah, I'll try. It's almost like uh, yeah, I feel like I'm like a don't want to be like some sort of IFS cliche, but <laughs> um, <laughs> me neither. <laughs> there's a, like it's there's this parts being like there's there's something inside me too, like yes, there's something inside of it. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, I think that's rather than it being a cliche, I think that's just the the reality of parts. Yeah, that's <laughs> that they that they typically have those experiences. So if that makes sense to you, just see if you can let it know that that makes sense to you. That's something you're curious about. You want to help it with. Yeah, I, I, I've let it know, know that, um, it, um, feels like it, it needs my attendance or it's still saying like, I want, I need you here. So. Yeah, it's, um, I feel like it wants attention. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel towards it, letting you know, you know that, like, as you learn that about it, how do, how do you feel towards it? I think, um, It's doable. Mm -hmm. it's, it's doable. It's also now I'm also just thinking about how unexpected this part can be, though, or volatile. Like right now, it's It's, I'm communicating with it, but also like wondering, like compared to the times when this literally painful part is bigger, yeah, or we're, you know, the, the this pain is Take tremendous, yeah, yeah, and that has happened over the past weeks, so. Yeah. So is it fair to say there's kind of a part of you that's um, hesitant or uh, trepidatious around, you know, working with this part, uh, concern around, concern around like it taking you over um, or, yeah, just having overwhelming you? Yeah. 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 That's, that's, that's right. That makes sense. 
that's that's exactly what I'm actually thinking of. Um, okay. So that makes total sense. Um, I think that that's that's also a part that part that's that's warning you about this other part. And so one way that you might help sort that out is to just ask the part, ask the pain in the stomach part, if at least in this conversation and in your work with it today, if it can agree to not overwhelm you so that you can work with it today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think working with it right now would be fine, yeah. Yeah. So do you feel like you have permission from that other part that's that's wary of it and to go forward? Or maybe you could ask that other part to just give you some space. Yeah, I, I do. I mm -hmm. it'll give me space, yeah. Great. So this part wants your attention, it wants your attendance. And now how do you feel about doing that for him or that, that idea of that? It's, um, I'm warming up to it more. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's funny how how it comes in waves physically like and it's almost like I'm so used to standing my ground when this happens where this pain comes in waves and um but Time, 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 I guess, or <laughs> I feel like since it's been happening for a few weeks now, I'm getting more used to this whole time and yeah, talking to this part more, I'm definitely going to have to work with it as a and talk to it a bit more every day. Mm -hmm. Well, you can let it know that uh, at least that you get it, like that you, when it sends you that, those messages, when it wants to take control, that you're very aware of its, of its power and that you're like hearing its message loud and clear, even if, you know, you might not have sorted out exactly what it's all about, that you're at least... Um, you're hearing it. You're feeling mm -hmm. it. I might ask if this part, if it trusts you to help it. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, uh, I think it trusts me. Okay. So anything else it wants to show you or tell you or let you know about in order to, for it to really trust you or to understand it? I 
I'm getting like for me to play fair with it. So uh, that's an interesting phrase that Mm -hmm. I guess it's, yeah, give it respect and due diligence, I guess. The last thing I heard you say was um, was about it wanting you to play fair. Yeah. Does that have any meaning to you? Does that resonate with you at all about what that means? And you don't have to tell me. I mean, I'm just curious if that that jives with you. <laughs> it's, I, I, it's an interesting thing to explore. Like, um, I think it's partially maybe asking me to respect its place um which i would feel like is acknowledging the pain and being more mindful of it i i guess and that's how mm-hmm. i would think mm-hmm. um i also think like it's a phrase that could be applied to me as a myself as a whole play fair almost like giving duly rest or like taking the moment to be comfortable or taking time off work which i i've tried not to um Mm -hmm. but i do i do think it was like it was more of a message of me or me to play fair with this part yeah and does it feel like just in this conversation like in this moment is it getting a taste of that of you listening to it of you um responding to it and like is that does that feel feel right for for this part does it feel right for you yeah i think it feels right and not only that, now I feel like I feel like this part's telling me like it's allowed to or it is in the process of always changing or changing shapes, changing feel feelings, changing maybe that's what it also meant. Stop defining me as just pain. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I I didn't. That wasn't that. Yeah, that's. I yeah. never actually. Yeah, that's. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just sit with that. I mean, that's. It's quite an insight, and then thanks thanks to that part for. It's amazing how clear they can be when given the chance like this. Yeah. Are you getting any intuition about where you want to go next with this part now or? Um, um, I think it sort of wants to wrap up because it's doing its shape shifting. Um, <laughs> uh, I I mean overall I I I have a, a yeah respect for it more. Um, and just so you know, I wasn't insinuating that I wanted to wrap up. I was just oh, I was just curious yeah. about if you had any you know next next moves. I was gonna if not, and if you wanted to continue, I would 
you know, treat it like, treat it like an exile probably and keep going with, um, you know, the usual, the usual way that I would approach that. So. Oh, well, yeah, we can continue. Like, I feel like it's communicated a lot too. I'm like, yeah, whatever feels right. I mean, I would check with the part first and, and check with your intuition. I don't have any, I, I don't have any agenda or, you know, don't, don't do anything because I'm saying so. I think the part saying it's good for now. Like awesome. Yeah. 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 That's, that's great. Yeah. It's funny. I like because it 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 does have like phys- this. I'm gonna call it physical pain. <laughs> um, when I when I eat, it usually happens like two hours later. So it's almost like I'm always in anticipating it or framing the pain and but yeah now I guess I play more fair yeah I mean I just want to encourage you to to keep doing that keep doing that work you know I think worst case scenario it's like you know, what happens? Okay. Maybe, maybe you don't get a bunch of insights. Maybe, maybe it's not a part. Maybe it's just, you know, you swallowed some nails or something. And, and even then, okay. So you're out an hour or two and doing parts work. Um, but you're able to learn about all your emotions around it at least. Um, and in the best case scenario, I think, yeah, you're talking to a part and it's got a message for you. And, Mm -hmm. You know, that that's, that can be the underlying cause of physical ailment. Could be, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just start trying to schedule more time with um, talking to my parts. I feel like yeah. I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, well, you're, you're great at it. I mean, you're, it's amazing. Every time we talk, it's just like eye opening. I, I think that there's a lot of insight. There's a lot of, it's always, it's always good work. So. Yeah, no, I appreciate that's, it. Yeah. I feel like I'm throwing all these curveballs, but that's my life right now is just like, bam, 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 bam. So I'm yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Well, maybe that would be my last question for, for you in this part was kind of, for you to ask it what what it needs from you going forward um if there's anything specific that it wants to do with you in the future or anything yeah it's definitely still telling me like similar to play fair like be kind so I think that I need to spend more compassion with it. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm just curious, was there a change like in this conversation? Did it start off as like having a certain amount of pain and now it's a different amount? Was there any like noticeable effect just in this conversation? Yeah, no, I, I, it, it sort of changed. I mean, it does evolve, but it did. I'd say that helps. Like, it was a lot more fuller. And then when, when, when I was talking to it, it became a little more concentrated. Like, mm-hmm. 
more defined. But not, in, not in a bad way. Just, yeah, mm-hmm. more defined. And now I feel a bit more lighter. Um, mm-hmm. The doctor thinks it's, it's gastritis. Huh. So inflamed, I think inflamed stomach lining. Huh. So, but I, I don't think that pain is really defined by that. Like that part's not defined by that, that, the name gastritis. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I feel like that part has been there before. <laughs> Definitely growing up Mm -hmm. yeah and again even if there even if there is a very clear-cut you know physical diagnosis well there's still all the emotions around it there's still all the feelings around the physical diagnosis so Mm -hmm. still your relationship with with the the pain yeah Mm -hmm. Great. Well, keep me posted. I, I hope I hope you feel better and uh, thanks. Hope to, hope to talk to you again soon and, and hear about it. Yeah. No. Thank you. Um, on a side note, you still mm-hmm. have that PO box, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'll have it for another two months at least. All right. Okay. So I still have the time. All right. This time. Uh, All right. Look out for yourself, though. I, I will. I will. You got Thank a lot you. on your plate. <laughs> Thanks, James. Yeah. Right. If, if I were to talk about work, that's another thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's. Oh my gosh, I don't want to say no. Let's just say I have to sign NDAs, so I can't talk about this thing. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, well, I guess have a good night. All right, um, you, uh, you too. Yeah, talk, talk later. to you soon. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Do you want to help bring more self energy to the world? If you'd like to participate in calls or help out with this project in any way, I'd love to hear your ideas. Join the Discord server or contact me at james at liveifs.com. A huge thanks to our audio engineer, Ivan, for your care and diligence in editing the calls. To every caller for your courage in sharing some of your parts. And to anyone out there getting to know their internal system, keep going. Who knows, that might be the most selfless, helpful thing you can do for others, and you're the only one who can do it. If you'd like to see us reach the largest audience, we must please the almighty suggestion algorithms at iTunes and YouTube. And they don't care about the power of IFS. They're looking for likes and shares and comments. And the sooner the better. Follow the links in the show notes right here in your podcast player to make your wishes known. And now, a minute of meditation. Or if you prefer, pull over. You can do it in 60 seconds. Just click one of those links. They're right there and give us a like or a five-star rating. It would really help. If you think this project is helping people, you're helping people by sharing it. Thank you.